start. Everybody, this is Tim from Mainly Muscle Cars, along with cameraman Ken, and we're going to do a fun little video here. Uh, unfortunately, it's not going to be a high-speed video. Just can figure out a way to speed up the camera. Um, anyway, we've been politely asked to uh, keep it slow through here. Uh, special thanks, though, do go to Evergreen Speedway uh, for letting us come out here and just take a little five-mile-an-hour drive around the track. Uh, as you know, this car basically belongs on the track, and they. Uh, guest appearance sort of way now. Um, anyway, we're in a 1970 Trino Cobra. Uh, this one here is wearing uh, what is strongly believed to be uh, the original prototype front end that Ford used for the King Cobra program. Uh, anyway, this was to be the first 200 mile an hour car. Uh, I believe it's on the pa front page of uh, Popular Mechanics and Ford was actually going headlong into this when NASCAR changed the rules on them. At which point they did, Ford basically decided that they couldn't afford to do the program and they dropped it. So a cool thing about that is that uh, there's just none of these cars out there. There's five known cars and that's including clones. There's uh, three real ones and two clones. Uh, this is actually, like I say, wearing an original nose, but it is not an original King Cobra. It is an original Cobra, correctly coded, uh, Cobra Jet, everything. Uh, very nice car, kind of completely gone through. You know, we did it so it would be just a nice street driver, uh, you know, limited use. Of course, you're not gonna wanna take this thing out in the daily grind, uh, just to kind of put that nose in danger. But a uh, real nice car, we've gone through, done a lot. Uh, the original motor, uh, this numbers matching, has been rebuilt. Uh, it has uh, ported cylinder heads and a comp cam, but otherwise it's pretty much stock. We wanted, just in case you did take it out, the last thing you want is a paper tiger. Uh, so this one basically should be able to kind of push the envelope uh, speed-wise if you wanted to. Um, all rebuilt suspension, rebuilt steering. Uh, we actually kind of went through alignment spec-wise, so this thing actually should be able to handle easily triple-digit speeds. Uh, so there's a couple things done there. We've got a really nice alignment, though. The thing just drives awesome. Uh, outside the car, of course, was completely stripped, repainted, uh, lots of chrome replated on it. Uh, inside, it's got uh, new carpet, uh, a lot of original components on the inside that have been touched up. So there's actually a lot of the original car still to this. Uh, really neat thing too is this one has an NOS 140 mile an hour speedometer. Uh, people familiar with Cobras and such will you know, know that they only came with 120. These speedometers right now currently sell for about $3,000. Uh, I'm just gonna give you a, a clue value-wise of that speedometer. Uh, inside, G-Car went through and completely restored the bezel and all the plating and stuff. And I'll say that was probably right around $600 to have done. So a lot of money has went into this car. Uh, just a stunning car, truly a conversation piece. Uh, you know, we've already done a kind of a good walk around video as part of the story, but anybody who is, uh, you know, truly interested, please give us a call. We'd be happy to kind of go over it with you uh, because it is a lot of research went into this, roughly about 200 hours. So there's a lot to talk about on this one. Typical Chevy guy going the wrong way on the track. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, a really neat car. Again, give us a call. A lot of fun. But Cruise is really nice. Easily a driver. We're going to do another video, just kind of walk around, point underneath the uh, engine compartment there, get you a better view of inside the interior. So, see you again soon. Thanks.